Hello everybody, Cause My Life here, bringing you yet another video. Um, before we get started, I'd like to do a little shout out to my most recent subscribers. Uh, I just wanted to say thank you and welcome you to the channel. I hope you stay for a long time and enjoy many of my future videos. So, without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay, so, today's video is going to be about, so well, the life of a YouTube channel. Uh... Basically, where this video comes from is just some of the trends that I've seen over my time of watching YouTube and subscribing to people, going with channels, unsubscribing from channels, seeing channels, and, and lots of things like that. So, I'm basically just going to sum up into one life of a YouTube channel, and, well, let's see where it all starts. The life of a YouTube channel starts with its birth. And at birth, a YouTube channel will have, of course, zero subscribers, zero views, zero videos, zero everything. It's brand new, a fresh start. The first few months are very difficult for a channel unless you are conversations with my two-year-old that gained a million subscribers in like six months. But most of you aren't them. So... These first few months are going to be very difficult for the channel. It's hard to just get your first subscribers. Luckily, I have a lot of friends that are nice enough to subscribe to my channel. And they gave me my first few subscribers when I started out. And got me some of the views I needed. And got me sort of out there where a few people could see them. Subscribe and just keep spreading. So that was nice. But... Once this channel starts getting a few subscribers, they should have varying on their videos be getting normal subscribers every now and then. For me, that's not really the case, and I hardly get subscribers at all. <laughs> uh, but that's okay. So, now after they've gotten their first few subscribers, the channel is going to start growing a little bit faster now. Once they're going to hit about 100, they should be seeing constant subscribers every day so they should be getting at least one subscriber every one to two days basically that's where i'm stuck <laughs> so i'm still working on getting to there so i can continue to grow continuously because as of right now it's kind of slow but so once they hit this they're going to start going up and all this time the YouTube channel is really in touch with the subscribers. It's really, really interacts with them well, re replies to lots of comments, and cares truly about what they want to see and what they think of the video and changing it so they like it more. But now, as we start growing, there's more and more subscribers, and it's harder to talk to all of them. But, so now, they have about 1,000 to 5,000. This is about the range of the next step for a YouTube channel. This is where a lot more people are going to start to notice them because their friends are going to watch them and they're like, hey, dude, check this guy out. He's really cool, funny, hilarious, makes awesome videos, dude. I love his editing, super sick montages, hilarious skits, funny jokes. I don't know anything your channel's about. They're going to start telling their friends, and that's when you're going to start seeing your growth double and go nuts. This is when your channel really starts. The channel, I keep saying your channel, I'm not talking to you. The, the channel starts to really take off gets a lot bigger it's getting more subscribers more and more and they start to grow more distant from their subscribers they start they start to see the money opportunities that there are with a big channel and they start to get greedy and all they see is the money they forget about the subscribers so now they've gone from a small channel to zero subscribers and now they're all the way up to 50,000 now tons and tons of people are watching their videos every day they're getting hundreds of dollars from their hundreds of dollars eh, maybe not quite hundreds of dollars every video but they're getting a good amount of money every video and they're becoming super excited and they just got this youtube cash flow super pumped they're loving it getting subscribers every day so many views so much money when they forget about the subscribers this is where the channels become crappy okay so you have your growth and now you're up to a hundred thousand 
your subscribers that you get the channel subscribers that they gained back when it was a small channel are now unsubscribing because they don't like where the channel has gone they liked it back in the day when it was old fashioned and they could talk to the youtuber and they sort of had a personal relationship with them but now that's gone because they become a big video big youtube channel they don't have time for this they just need to be making more videos so they can maximize their profit they don't care about you anymore this is where the stupid people come in this is where all the youtube fanboys come in to save the day and continue their growth because even though these few peoples that were there at the beginning that the youtuber actually used to care about are leaving you have all these youtube fanboys to come and fill the void now you're almost to a million subscribers the channel the channel's almost to a million subscribers and by now they're pretty much doing whatever they want. They have enough growth to continue their channel on. They don't care what people want to watch. It's whatever they want to upload and whatever will make them the most money. Subscribers, you can leave comments all you want. They'll never see them. So, you know, I hate to see channels go down this path. Uh, if my channel ever got even more than 100, I would be ecstatic. That's a big word. Aesthetic means excited. I would be excited to even see that many. Uh, you know, I doubt this channel would ever get past a thousand. I doubt that. But if it ever did, that's one thing I would hope that I wouldn't do. I hope I wouldn't follow the same path as many other YouTubers, such as White Boy Seventh Street and Max Mofo. Max Mofo, I was sad to see him go the way he went uh i would have liked him to stay small and i don't know if any of you guys have heard of hot gaming he's another one uh you know it used to be a lot better back in the day and then there's always pewdiepie with 41 million subscribers he doesn't care you know how much money that guy's making he could care less what you guys thought then uh another small youtuber that i'll go ahead and leave in the description that i watched for a while now his name is Royal Gilly. Uh, he's been through a lot. I've been watching his videos for almost a year now. And his channel has just had so much. I remember I actually used to comment on some of his videos. And he would reply, you know, now, good luck with that. But, you know, it's just sad to see some of these go this way. You know, some of them don't. Some of them stay true to their subscribers and could care less about the money, but... For most of them, that's not how it is. And that's pretty much where it ends, you know? They're just going to keep growing from there and growing distant and distant and more distant. So I just hope that this isn't the case for my channel. Um, and that's pretty much the life of a YouTube channel. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too boring for you guys. It's just an idea I had one day and I figured I'd throw it into a commentary so without that I leave you and I hope you have a great day whenever you seem to watch this yeah that's that's pretty much it mm-hmm